Hi, I'm Tony Pentelaresco, and your Herbs Plus and Bead Works, and today you're going to go into the big league. We're going to make iodine. Before we make iodine, uh, I want to explain to you about iodine, how it can regenerate your whole body. From the hypothalamus down to your reproductive organs, it can regenerate everything. It regenerates your glands. Now, I show people when they come to the store how to take an iodine test, a real simple way of doing this, to see whether or not you have adequate amount of iodine. This is a Lugol's iodine solution, which I made, and I'm going to show you how to make it. <clears throat> and what you do to test your iodine levels is drop one drop of iodine, smudge it on your skin, then look at the clock. Okay, I put this on now at 7.45. That should be on there, fade it. It will fade, your body, your skin will absorb it. It will absorb through the skin. Now, depending on the rate of absorption, this will determine whether or not you're low in iodine. If this is gone within a, in anything under four hours, you're low. This is sitting there between six, eight hours or longer than your iodine levels are adequate in your body. This is a real simple test. Now you can take this internally and you can do it externally. If you have any cuts, you have any wounds, if you have any blemishes, if you have any warts, or if you have any uh, polyps or cysts out external, you can apply it on there and it will remove them. It may take some time if some of the skin grows. It can take up to several weeks, but you will see them dry up and fall out. Um, if you're going to a dentist office or you're going to get x-ray, this is something you want to take internally an hour before you go just to protect the thyroid from any exposure to radiation. Um, if a bomb went off that was of radioactive material and you had this around, you can protect your, your body, uh, uh, glands and organs from the, some of the radiation exposure with this. This stuff will kill bacterial infections, it will kill viral infections, it will kill fungal infections. Some of you are anxious and have anxieties and you can't sleep and you can't think and you can't remember what you did from one moment to the next. This can have a restorative effect on nerves and brain and other functions. People who get on this find that after a while they can sleep again because their internal organs are realigning back to the way it was. Um, if you're using tap water, which has fluoride in it, fluoride will displace iodine out of the thyroid. So, no tap water. All right, what we're going to do, this is what you're going to need. Sorry, just, just to clarify real quick. You're talking for internal, the, you're, you're not saying store by iodine. You, no, like the stuff we're making here. When I'm talking about iodine, this is the stuff you're making here. There's several different iodine products in the market. There's Iodoro, there's Lugol's. And there's one other one, I can't think what it's called right off the bat. But anyway, those are the only three that are sold in health food stores that you can buy to take internally. The recommended dose for Lugol's, if you're iodine deficient, deficient, and you know you're iodine deficient, you can take up to 50 milligrams a day of iodine. Now, having said that, do not do this. Primarily, if you're low and you want to gradually build your stores up, don't overwhelm your system because you're deficient. You're going to run and buy five gallons of this stuff and just chug it down. That'll kill you. The idea is if you're deficient, then slowly reintroduce whatever the deficiencies are. I do that with everything I do, whether it's in the herbals, whether it's in tinctures, vitamins, whatever. Anytime I get anybody to do something, it's slow, go, and get gradually build up. If it took X amount of time to break you down, it's going to take X amount of time to get you up. Some things can be expedient and quick and get you back, and other things will take time. This is something, if you're going to do it, <clears throat> um, I would probably tell you to take one to four drops a day initially. Probably if you're really low or if you've never done anything before, one to two drops a day, and you do this consistently for a month, and then do the test. If you find after a month you're doing this and it's sitting on your arm for eight hours, and do it twice a week. If you want to lose body mass composition, now notice I didn't say lose weight, body mass composition. You would combine this with butter, which you're going to make, or coconut oil or coconut cream. 
you would use probably six drops a day in divided doses with these fats. And you will find that your body mass composition will start to go all by itself. What you're doing again is restoring the hypothalamus, you're restoring the thyroid, you're restoring the pancreas, the thymus. You're building your body back up. Okay, how are we going to do this? This is what you're going to do. You're going to need potassium iodide. Okay? You're going to need 88 grams. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with metric, that's 3.1 ounce. So, 3 ounces, give or take. You get your trusty scale. Open it up. That was one open. Okay? And slowly pour out what you need. I'm watching the scale as I do this. There we go. That's 3.1 ounce. Ah, what are you going to do with it? This is going to be your trusty stirrer afterwards. So there you go. What you can do is pour some water in just a little bit to get started. You're going to need a one quart container. Okay, and anything you do with this stuff, don't touch metal with it, has to be in glass. Okay, just so you know. So, what I'm going to do now is pour this in slowly. Okay, we give it a bit of a stir. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, next, we're going to take iodine crystals. And you're going to need approximately half the amount, 44 grams, or 1.55 ounces. So, you got a metric scale or you've got a uh, an imperial standard scale, doesn't matter whether you're doing ounces or, or grams, have a scale that can do it. Okay, so we're going to need 44 grams. So be careful with this stuff, it does have a smell. Notice it's solid. Oops, too much. Mm -hmm. There we go. 44 grams. Now, stir this up a bit. All right. And then we're going to add this to it. All right. You can start stirring it a little bit. All right, just to get it going. Then we're going to have, and the water we're using, just so you know, is either a distilled water or reverse osmosis. Do not use tap water. Do not use spring water. You want clean water. All right? All righty. And what you do is you stir it, because the iodized crystals and the salt have to dissolve. Now, this may have to be set overnight. Okay, you can shake it. What I'll do is I'll put a lid on it, and what I'll do is I'll put a wax paper coating or something else because the lid is usually metal, and I don't want the metal on it because iodine will break down metal. This is why we're using a chopstick. But you can stir it, get it going, and before you know it, you've just made iodine, Google's iodine. 